Hello, hello. Okay, this tutorial is of one of the In The Hoop uh, baby bibs. This one is the eight by 12. Um, I created a new motif design that's really cute. I'm excited to see how it looks, so I figured I would do the tutorial while I was at it. Um, you're gonna need some fabric for the top. This, I just fused um, fleece on the back. You can use felt, you can use whatever, just set it in the hoop and it'll do it. And then you're gonna need something for the backing. This is just scrap towel that I have from making my hooded towels. And then I'm gonna need a piece of fabric for the monogram part. You really should try to use the um, heat and bond on the back just so that it, it gives this more stability and it, you can uh, adhere it with heat once the design sun so it doesn't come up or get yucky when you wash it but for video purposes I'm not going to uh, again I normally skip the placement stitch just because it I cut my fabric big enough to fit the entire hoop which is pretty much what this bib is so we're gonna go ahead and do the first step which is the um, placement stitch and I'll let it do that and I'll be right back okay it has finished our placement stitch so we are going to take our material and slide it in there now it's going to do a tack down stitch once that's done I will come back and show you okay it has finished the tack down stitch. Now we're going to move on to the motif fill. Um, when this is all finished I will come back and show you. I'm really excited. This is a new one for me. Uh, I've never created my own motif fill so this is exciting. I shall be back. Can you see the cuteness? Look at them. Little cute elephants. We're just stitching away. When this is all done I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, now that all of the uh, motif filling has completely stitched out, we're going to do the monogram patch. It'll do the placement stitch first. And I did go ahead and just put a piece of the heat and bond on the back. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that stitch, the placement stitch for the monogram patch. When that gets done, I will lay this fabric over it and do the tack down stitch and then you trim around um, the fabric after you get it tacked down into place. Once that's tacked down, you trim it and after you trim it is when you can go ahead and press it um, with the iron so that it adheres to this and you don't have to worry about it bubbling or coming up or anything like that. So I'll let this finish and I'll come back. Okay, it has finished the placement stitch for the monogram patch. We're going to lay in the fabric over the placement stitch and we'll go ahead and tack that down into place. And when that's done, I'll come back and show you. Okay, now you can see it's done the tack down stitch all the way around. I'm going to go trim it and press it and I'll be right back. Okay, it's all nice and trimmed and pressed into place. So the next step will be to do the satin stitch around the uh, monogram frame. I will let that stitch and when it is done, I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, we have finished the satin stitch around the frame. The next step is going to be your monogram. If you've added a monogram to the blank design, you're going to need to put it at step 7. So make sure that you move it up to step 7 because step 8 is the last step which will do another outline to tack down the back material. So just a note, if you're adding a monogram, you need to move it up to step 7 or um, it's going to stitch backwards. So just make sure you get that monogram moved up. Once this is done stitching, I will come back and show you. Okay, now that the monogram is done, you're gonna wanna take your back fabric. You want pretty side to pretty side. So we're gonna go ahead and lay this in here. Make sure nothing got flipped up inside of there. Okay, now it's going to stitch out the final 
outline stitch and it will leave an opening over here for us to turn it in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and stitch that out and I'll be right back. Okay, it is finished sewing and the opening's not here, the opening's down at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and remove this from the hoop. Remove all the extra stabilizer. Okay, we're going to go ahead and trim around it. And then at the opening right here, you need to little, leave a little bit of extra. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you. Okay, so we've trimmed all the way around the bib. Now we're going to reach inside and we're going to turn this bad boy inside out. Let me turn it and I'll be right back. Okay, once you get it all turned, you're going to tuck these two little pieces up inside here. And you can either take it to the sewing machine and sew around the top all the way around, or you can do a ladder stitch right here to close this one closed. And then um, just add your little cam snaps at the top, and there you go. You have your bib. You see those cute little elephants. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy. Bye.